My point in most of what I've been trying to say lately is that it's messed up to go out of our way to belittle people or try to make them feel like shit. It doesn't matter whether they can take it, whether they should be able to take it. None of that matters. We shouldn't be going out of our way to do this to people in the first place. When I've said this, people like Eve turned it into, well, we shouldn't have to walk on eggshells. Well, I never said we should. A large percentage of people's arguments against what I've been saying have been straw men. Most verbal abuse on the internet is indeed abuse. It isn't some father smiling and saying, <laughs> you shithead, and the kid laughs back and says, <laughs> you fucker. It's people being mean for the sake of being mean. Saying Hitler should have finished the job to a Jewish person because they didn't like the ideas they were talking about is not a father saying, <laughs> you shithead, of the scenario that was described earlier. Saying faggots will burn in hell and you should feel bad for being a faggot to a gay person because they didn't like the ideas they were talking about is not a father saying, <laughs> you shithead. Saying to someone with obvious self-esteem issues, you're ugly inside and out. You're a terrible person. Why would anyone ever want to be with someone like you? Go kill yourself. Is not a father saying, <laughs> you shithead. So, just as we should be able to have a thicker skin than we did as a child, we should also be expected to behave better than we did as a child. And with a lot of people who were never able to get over their bullying as a child, the opportunity for them to bully others has made them relive their childhoods in ways they could only dream of before, where they're now the antagonist in a bullying situation instead of the other way around like they had always experienced. Both things should be talked about, the mindset of bullying and people's ability to deal with bullying. The thing is, we won't truly be able to reduce the negative effects of those things if we don't treat or talk about or at least attempt to talk about the source of the bullying mindset. And that source is the desire to spread misery. Another frustration for me is that people have been using the society doesn't have to fallacy a lot. It's basically where you make the argument that society should simply change, even though society is the way it is, and there's no changing it unless we actually address what makes it the way it is in a way that gets people to think about anything. And there's a mindset, an ideology of sorts, that is associated with this fallacy. It's to say that we shouldn't talk about why something is the way it is, nor try to state answers that mean anything that can be implemented in some way, but that we should just declare that society should be completely different than it actually is. And people with this mindset believe that saying that aloud somehow makes things all better and means you're being intellectual because you're saying something that's intentionally unpopular with an almost religious belief in its importance in victim-blaming society itself. Lots and lots of, well, this group of people should be different arguments. That's what I mean by this cultish AIU Devin Tracy mindset that a number of YouTubers have unfortunately gotten sucked into. Who fucking cares if you think society should be different? It's not different than it is, it simply is the way that it is. The question is, how are we going to make it better for the future? We can't just give some boneheaded answers and say, well, it should be different, or it should be better, or people shouldn't be stupid, or the sky should be orange with chartreuse stars. We instead have to discuss the root of why society is the way it is and see if there's a way of improving it. Saying, buck up and just take it, is not something you want to be teaching society. Think about the implications of that. Think about the ramifications for pushing that sort of thing. For instance, should we just blindly support Hillary because buck up and just take it? At what point do we declare that we've had enough of something? What of people who declare that they've had enough of bullying and they want to do something about it? Is your answer going to be, you can't do anything about it because my feelings? Or you can't do anything about it because my First Amendment rights? Well, besides it not being a First Amendment issue, how about speaking against verbal abuse and bullying on the internet while also saying that you don't want the internet to be censored? How about trying to get people to think about why bullying is so common? Newsflash, 
Everyone already grows a thicker skin for a lot of things in life, or they don't survive. Period. Those who don't learn, die. Period. Those who don't adapt in some way, perish. That's just how it is. Telling it to people is almost a pejorative whenever you see someone struggling with something is needlessly cruel. If you're going to go around telling people that they're weak or stupid or thin-skinned because they're struggling with dealing with some things, that doesn't really help anything. Because the truth is, everyone knows that people either deal with things or they don't, which could result in death. Everyone already knows that if we didn't survive something, we would be dead. That's pretty basic. Here's an analogy. You have two choices. Do you want to walk around naked while carrying nothing through a forest in the outback, or do you want to walk around naked while carrying nothing in the Pacific Northwest on a warm day? Well, most people would prefer the Pacific Northwest because there are very few things that would result in death if walking naked while carrying nothing in the Pacific Northwest. People's desire to have a platform that isn't so toxic may be emotional, but so are people's desires to spread misery, which is the root of verbal abuse anywhere to begin with, and specifically on this platform. So let's be clear here. Telling people, shh, just take it, is not an answer that achieves anything positive for society's future.